What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Nicola Podcast. We've got a little bit of a different episode coming at you this week. Our friend Tyler, who you've probably seen on the podcast before, has done a documentary with Josh Block, better known as World of T-Shirts, before. He mentioned that he could get him on our show, and we wanted to see what he had to say. Yeah, so we had him in, just kind of had a sit-down conversation with him, talking about social media, the relationship that he has with his followers, some of the traveling that he's done, and just kind of saw where his head's at around, you know, being so big on social media and the, the, the following that he's been able to build. It's no secret that Josh has a problem with alcohol, which he acknowledges in this episode. We shouldn't even have to say this, but we didn't supply, drink, or do support it, in any, or support any Josh's way. issue in any given way. If you check out Tyler's documentary produced by Masshole Media, you'll see that Josh is a great kid and we truly want the best for him. Um, with that being said, uh, he's got a few requests that he makes to the audience and to his followers in the video. So please keep this in mind and please remember that, you know, just because his entire life is all over the internet doesn't mean that he's there for your own enjoyment, nor does it mean you can root on his downfall. Absolutely. Enjoy the episode. Thanks, guys. All right, Boston, Massachusetts. We got the legendary Mayor Will Flanagan World of with us. World T-shirts, yes. World of T-shirts and Tyler Seller. Welcome in. How are you guys doing? Great We're to be good. Here. Yeah, happy to be here. Good? Thanks for the invite. Of course, anytime. How was the flight up here, Josh? It was kind of bumpy. Bumpy? A lot of turbulence? Yeah, they they turned on the fast and seatbelt sign the whole flight. That's too bad. But it wasn't Spirit Airlines, though, right? It was American Airlines. What's your thoughts on Spirit? I hope I never end up on Spirit again. Why? It's a crappy airline. Okay. I don't like Spirit. If you had a favorite airline, what would it be? I like American. I've been flying American for years. I remember when it was U.S. Airways. I don't even remember that. You've heard of U.S. Airways? No, never. American uh, merged with them. Really? Okay. I'm a big Delta guy. You like Delta? Delta's... I like Delta. They give you the cookies? I I usually do American Delta or United. Those okay. are three good ones. All right, yeah, you got, you got your priorities. Spirit is shit. Yeah, fair enough. I see you packing his in. Big, big Zen guy. I don't guy. like spirit. No, Josh, you, you an upper deck or a lower yeah. deck with the Zen? I'm an upper deck. An upper I deck. tried to do lower deck. Yeah. And, like, it doesn't stick for some reason. Have you ever gone the double decky? Like, one up top, one down low? I no, I have uh, put two on top. Oh, how'd that go? And I get, I always get nauseous. Yeah, I don't really like Zins because they make me nauseous too. No, like a, a regular cigarette is one uh, milligram. Okay. A Zin is like three cigarettes in one. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I've never... Like, I'll go through a whole pack of Zins in one day. That's like three packs of cigarettes. Do you do it because it's better for you and you're not smoking something? or I it... vape, You though. vape, okay. Do you... Um, I'm, I vape, but the Zins help me cut down on my vaping. Okay. All have right, you ever tried you. to cut nicotine out of your, like, regimen altogether? I, I have tried... Like, what happens is if I don't vape or I don't zin, I'll get withdrawals. Okay. Mm. I'll get a nicotine withdrawal. It's not fun. No, I bet not. We were just outside and, you know, all these people just, we walk outside of the restaurant <laughs> and within like a minute, all these people, Josh, Josh, screaming your name. No matter it's where you go. It's because I'm famous on He's TikTok. He's a celebrity. Yeah. You know, I... So, no. What happens is I'm a celebrity and people want pictures with me. But, like, I don't have time to accommodate every single person. And it's fascinating, too. So, I'll just say, like, go away. But, Josh, you know, I hung out with athletes actors actresses 
and the level I of mean, interest like, this can I, get to I don't have time to accommodate everyone. That well, makes sense. What do you guys think it is? You know, you could be walking down the street with a Red Sox player. I'm, and I'm a to big die. celebrity. Yeah. I mean, I don't have much time. I think that your style of content is very like live yeah. and natural and organic. So people yeah. think that they know you when they see you. So yeah. they can just come up to you and say, "Hey, Josh, like, how's it can going?" Can I have a picture? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but I don't have I don't have time to accommodate every single person that wants a picture. Do you think if he was an actor or a rapper, they would do that, or no? Because he's on TikTok, they feel they can walk up. Yeah, to him? TikTok is much more just realistic. TikTok and... famous is the worst type of famous. <laughs> you think? Yeah. It's annoying being famous. But you're, that's like your main form of content, so. What's I know like, uh, it's really annoying being famous on TikTok. What's like so annoying about it? Like, what's like the the bad everybody part? wants a picture with me. So it's just the photos. Yeah, you I can't. Wanna, I can't stick. I just want. I just want some peace. I got that. But like, I can't. Like, uh, I can't walk the street without someone demanding a picture. And you're a normal guy. Like, I'm a human being, too. Like, I shouldn't have to submit to that. Fair enough. When's the last I'm time... I'm a human being. Like, I, I should have rights, right? If people came up to you politely and they said, Hey, Josh, I'm a big fan. Would you mind if I took a picture with you? Would that but be better? But they're not doing it. They're, yeah. they're, they're like, it's like... They just shove a phone in your face and, and hope that uh, you smile for them. Yeah. Is that a message you want to tell everybody right now? Just to... Like, I want to be able to live my life. Like, uh, yeah. Oh. Like, uh, I get really sad when people take advantage of me. They steal my hat. They steal my phone. And I got really, I get really upset. Do you remember the last time that you were somewhere and you didn't get recognized and it was you were able to just kind of... I was robbed in New Orleans. When was that? Pretty recently. Last week. Really? Last week, yeah. That was the start of a pretty eventful week for you, Josh, right? Yeah, I got robbed in New Orleans. Can you tell us about that they a little bit? They took my phone. They... They stole like three hundred dollars from my Apple Pay. I woke up. I uh, went into my. I got a new phone, and I checked my account, and there was a big overdraft. And he loves to travel. Mm. And what does NSF mean? Non-sufficient funds. Yeah. They took all your money. It means non-sufficient funds. But he's so innocent, too. He'll go into some of the dangerous places in New Orleans and New York where police will tell you, don't go. But he's so curious Especially to Fort see. Forest, yeah. 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 Oh, so NSF means non-sufficient funds. Yeah, non-sufficient funds, money. yeah. Mm-hmm. What, do, you, do you like to uh, experience new cultures? And is that why you travel? Is there a favorite place that you've been? Yeah, because I've, I've been all over Europe. I've been to Iceland twice. You're wearing an Iceland t-shirt right now. I've been to uh, England. I've been to France. I've been to Norway, Italy. Mm. I've been to six countries. All right, tell us. you got to give us your favorite spots that you've been. I liked Amsterdam. Okay. (coughs) What What did you do in Amsterdam? I've been there before. It's a good time. No, so what happened is those people in Amsterdam, they they put shrooms in my drink. Oh, God. And you went to the red light district, too, right? They put mushrooms in my drink. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, what was that? Like, I was hallucinating animals <laughs> jumping all over the bar. Oh Did you God. like that? I was like, what's happening to me? Did you like that? Not really. Yeah. I was hallucinating, like like the whole room was spinning. Would you do it again? Do you think? Not really. No. Yeah, yeah. You don't need. You don't, you don't need, need that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like What's, the whole room was spinning. Okay. What's the best food you've had while you're traveling? 
when I went to Italy, I was eating a lot of carbonara. Okay. You big pasta guy? Yeah, I love pasta. You're a big seafood guy too, right? Yeah. Yeah? Favorite seafood? Because we're in Boston. I like oysters. Oysters? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hey. Josh, I've never had oysters yeah, before. Fried oyster skins. Fried oyster skins? I've never, never had I've never had oysters. Can you remember you? SpongeBob? Like, he's like, <laughs> fried oyster skins. I love SpongeBob. And you had alligator in New Orleans. You had alligator? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Let well, me show sure you this episode on SpongeBob. All right, we got to see it. What does that say? I think it says band. What does band mean? I don't know. What does is, what is band mean? It means you can't go there anymore. Like on Tinder. Where did they get banned from? They got banned from what? The Krusty Krab? The Krusty Krab. Okay, okay. Did they get banned from the Krusty Krab? I think so. So you've have you ever been banned from somewhere when you're traveling? I got banned from bars because I puked everywhere. That's not that's not fun. Josh, we have to kill the vibe. I got that. banned from a, like five bars because I puked everywhere. Was that in New York or somewhere in else? In New York. And Josh was also looking for a girlfriend too, right, Josh? You're looking for a girlfriend? We could help you. We could help you find yeah, someone. Yeah, I am. What are you looking for in a girlfriend? I don't know. You don't know? Do you like blondes or brunettes? I like blondes. I, I like blondes. I like, I like blondes too, hey, Josh. Josh. But here he is in New York with all these yeah, people. Yeah, there's a right? lot. And he feels alone sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you have any other friends that like come out and do content with you? Not really, no. What about, uh, what about Michael Quinn? Not really. Who, can you tell us who Michael Quinn is? He's just a friend of mine. Do He's you like not- him? Yeah. How did you how did you guys meet? We just did. You just met? TikTok. TikTok? TikTok. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's like how you met him too, right? Yeah, that's one of the great things about the app. You know, you got people from all different backgrounds meeting, right? So that's pretty cool. Talk about the first time, Will, when you first met Josh or came across his content. What was that like for you and you know, forming this relationship that's that you guys have now? Yeah. You know, I was just starting out on TikTok. What does that say? So you see yeah, all these different influencers. Yeah. And I think anybody who thing. goes on TikTok, Josh pops up on your For You page, right? And being in New York, you got this guy taking you on all these sites and sounds in New York. And it was really cool. And we just started liking each other's content. Like I'm showing pictures of Fall River, history. And he's a history buff too. He loves culture and history. Mm-hmm. So... Just one day, I said, hey, you want to come out to Boston Province, see a Red Sox game? And here he is. But you got somebody who's in their 40s, somebody who's what in their that? 20s, bonding over sports and TikTok. So, you know, the app's pretty cool. But I worry what about it, though, because if TikTok were ever to go away, you know, I think Josh would have a hard time adjusting to that. Mm. Well, we were going to ask, uh, <clears throat> I was going to ask Josh this question. But Josh, I got a question for you, buddy. You ready for you ready for a question? Yeah, I'm ready. I got a tough one for you. Do you think what? that your followers have like your best? Like, what's your relationship like with your followers? Do you think that they, they want? They say I'm an alcoholic, but I, I'm not an alcoholic. I might have a problem, but I'm not an alcoholic. At least you're. I don't think has anyone known that like you've at least said you have a problem. Like at least you're. I I might it. have a drinking problem. You might. Okay. But I'm not an alcoholic. Do, do you we think that you about that this trip? Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> well, especially with the week he's had too. Man, we, he likes to travel. Mm-hmm. If he gets a criminal case, he's not gonna be able to go to all these countries he wants to go to. If he starts drinking, no, no. What happened well, was I was charged with a class B. It's a trespass. Right, but we don't want something bigger to happen, right? So mm-hmm. we gotta keep things under control. But I mean, I'm not gonna do it again. What's the most I could get a fine? Well, we don't even want to fine Josh. What happened? What happened earlier this week, Josh? Do you want to talk about that? No. I- what happened? I was charged for trespass. Where were you trespassing? I was riding on the back of the train. How did that come about? Allegedly. Like idea or? Mm. Yeah, of course, allegedly. That's yeah. what you're being, what, that's what, what they're charging you with. Right. Yeah, like a fine. We don't, 
Yeah, I don't know. Well, you, posted a, you posted a TikTok, too, saying you got fined, too, right? Hopefully it's dismissed. Okay, right? Right. I think yeah, we can hope for that, yeah. But even now, you know, coming into Boston, Josh is saying he's trying to cut back his drinking. Yeah. Josh, what do you want to do with your drinking? Cut it back? I'm cutting down. You're cutting down? Okay, Josh, we have, a, we have a question from one of our fans. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin David. <laughs> Just talk loud. You yeah. Josh. So, hey, Josh, the world wants to know, how did you get started with TikTok? How did you get started with all this? I just did. Just did? Start off recording. What kind of videos? So, I used to Hey, Josh, the world wants to know, how did you... Dancing in the bathroom. And then I uh, started... So, uh, like, I was tired of being stuck in quarantine. So I went into the city. So this was all during COVID? Yeah, I was tired of being stuck in quarantine. Right. A lot of people, like, you know, nobody likes COVID, and, you know, nobody's saying that they did. I was sick of being in quarantine. So do you think that because there was all these quarantine restrictions, that's kind of what made you grow on social yeah, media? Yeah, restaurants were closed, or they were limited to, like, 25% capacity. Okay. Did you did you see COVID at, like, that time as, like, an opportunity for you? No. I was really, uh... I was really worried about COVID. Uh, just getting it or what it would do to the country? No, like, they shut down the restaurants. They closed the bars. Yeah. Well, you couldn't even go to the bars in the beginning of COVID, right? Yeah, they closed everything down. And he wasn't even 21 that's, yet. Yeah, that's what, no. I, that's what no. I thought. August 2022. So, Josh, I know that, um, look, I know that those people, like, they came up to you on the street... And you said that that kind of happens pretty frequently. But do you think that, you know, your tour business would be as successful as it is if you didn't have such a large following? No, it wouldn't. No one would sign up. So it's kind of like a give or take there, right? Yeah, you have to deal with the extra people, but at least your business is flourishing, right? Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit more about how you started that business and kind of just uh, what you do? It's because of my following. That's why. What video was the first video that went viral for you i ate i ate a couple of crickets really why'd you do that i was eating bugs why'd you do that yummy 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 i've got bugs in my tummy (laughs) 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 yummy 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 i've got bugs in my tummy this content has really evolved it's very much eating crickets to boba review coffee review to okay. where he is today oh yeah coffee and boba i remember that, that, that was a you love boba right, right? yummy 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 i've got bugs in my tummy and also viral <laughs> records too oh that's yeah, true. Yeah, true uh dj's new york dj's big name dj's doing collaborations with him so it's mm-hmm. yummy yummy and- yummy oh, I've got oh you were on side talk right tummy. yeah he was on side talk with Tran and jack Frank. yep how was that? You you like the side talk guys? Yeah, it was pretty good. When did it for you like go from just making fun videos around New York during COVID to becoming an actual business and a full time occupation really for you? I don't know. You don't know? COVID was really hard. But well, that's a great question though, because I tell them, Josh, you got to save your money mm. because if the government stops TikTok tomorrow. What does Josh do? Right? They're debating on stuff. Right? I know. They want to ban it in the United States. How would that affect your income if they did that? What am I going to do? Like, I can't. I, I have a class B misdemeanor. Who's going to hire me? I, I think you could still get it. I think you could still get a job. Yeah. I, I So I was. He's really dumb I got about that. charged with the uh, trespass because I surfed the back of the train. Was that your idea, or did one of your followers kind of encourage you to do no, it? No, like uh, my friend had the key to the back of the subway. Oh, okay. But well, I posted it on social media. And he was the only one they charged, too, which doesn't make That's sense. That's pretty unfortunate. Right? No, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do if they ban TikTok? Like, That's a great I question. What, a what, what are you going to do? Well, what, what hobbies did you have, like, before TikTok? Like, what, you did, we were track and field. 
You ran oh. track and field? I used to be running cross country. <clears throat> yeah, you told me you, used to, you walked I used to be running. Yeah, I used to be a runner. You know what I think? You, what, what song you own? What? Empire State of Mind. New York. Country jungle, wet dream tomato. There's <laughs> nothing you can't do when yeah. you're in New York. Hey, there you go. That's, what that's does B A N N E D? You know what you should do? What you does that spell? B A N E D on Tinder. He B-A-N-E-D. opened up a Tinder account. And he linked his cash app. Uh, oh, you can't do that. To his Tinder account. So that spells banned. Mm. Yeah, it spells it banned. Does. It sure does. <laughs> I thought banned meant like a guitar and drum. <laughs> That's called soliciting sex for a fund. <laughs> <laughs> I thought banned meant like a guitar and drums. That's another. It's crazy how it works like that, honestly, because it, it's, it, it's the same type thing. Of band. It is, yeah. You're always you 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 keep like metric system right On that's phone, that's how yeah, you go yeah, right yeah. yeah i use celsius for weather and why celsius. is that why is that i mean it's we're in the u.s so. i want to be like the rest of i want to be advanced like the rest of the world would you live in a different country than the u.s i like to live in italy okay italy? Do you, where in italy like, if I go to the mountain Giacomo, I could buy a mansion for, like, a hundred grand on a mortgage. Oh, okay. really? Wow. That's that's great. That's beautiful. We, we could all move out there yeah. if it's that cheap, honestly. I, cheap I think we'll just, we'll go, what, five on a 20, 20 five grand each? Yeah, 20. yeah, exactly. I think we'd like fly it. to Naples. Fly yes. to Naples. Can we get bunk beds? <laughs> <laughs> You a big bunk tag guy or no? And some of these facts and figures he comes out with amaze you sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they're accurate, too. Yeah. Right. He's not making this up. Um, his, I think a lot of people would, may or may not be how surprised how intelligent Josh is. Mm-hmm. Um, probably off the charts intelligence. Are we almost done here? <laughs> That's up to the We're host. done whenever you want to be whenever, done. Whenever you're done, we can be done. Okay, let's go to a bar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we could get a drink and get some food. You got one yeah. more drink, then you then you cut off. Wait, Josh, what happened last, um, yesterday? We got a text from Will saying that uh, we didn't know if you were going to fly in. I was at the hospital. How did that end up happening? So apparently I was drunk. Do you think you were drunk? And I was banging on a window. I don't even remember. That's what the nurse told me. Okay. I, he may... I, also, the hours he keeps are crazy hours where he'll just be nonstop in the city and he's not getting sleep. He's not right. drinking water. So, yeah, alcohol doesn't help either, but lack of sleep, lack of water, plus the alcohol... You go to crash. I think he crashed. Yeah, today. we could we could go to a bar. I'll get one more drink mm-hmm. and then I'll eat something. Okay. Eating something sounds good. Yeah. You guys have more questions or? And you're living with your grandparents, right? Too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do they think about all of this, Josh? They don't like the fact that I drink a lot. His grandfather's proud of him, what he's been able to accomplish. I mean, I, yeah. Oh my sure. god, I got a toothache. Yeah, two things. That's the worst. I have to get my wisdom teeth pulled. Yeah. I I got my wisdom teeth pulled. You know what? It's about a week of of eating applesauce and yogurt, and then I have, and then you'll be I fine. have a bad toothache. Yeah, I had uh, one of those because I went to the dentist, and they said that all four of my wisdom teeth have to be removed. What about are you, what about countries you want to visit? You've mentioned some places you've been. I want to go to Dubai. 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 Oh, yeah. I want to go to what uh, the UAE. Dubai's really. I know they have very. Stri- I know they have very strict very, liquor. Very strict. Yeah. Sure. They have very uh, strict uh, liquor laws yeah, and very no, strict. No, no. Like if you're not a Muslim, you can drink there. I still think they have pretty strict laws about public intoxication. They public may have you, no. They may have like laws saying that you can't be drunk in public. Yeah, yeah but you would or never they do that. may have like uh, they may have a curfew for bars. Oh, okay, 
Like, I think I could go to Dubai. I'm not Muslim, so I so maybe can we take still the podcast drink. On the road podcast. Podcast. Where's the bathroom? Bathroom's over there. Thank you, Michael. Josh, here, we'll, we'll wrap it up We'll right wrap now. it up now, Josh. Will, before we wrap this up, um, Josh, straight ahead, buddy. <laughs> What what do you what do you hope is next for uh for Josh? Um, you know, he's got a lot of steam, yes. you know, on TikTok right now. Um, you know, a cult following, whether that's good or bad for him right now. Mm-hmm. What do you what do you hope that is next for him personally, professionally? Both of you guys, because Tyler, you can even yeah. talk about um Personally, I want him to get this alcohol under control. Um and once he's able to get that drinking, and I know he can, and he will. Yeah. Once he focuses in on something, I'm confident that he'll be able to go from whatever he's at now to the four drinks a day to hopefully two drinks a day to an occasional drink a day. Right. Um, but professionally, I think the sky's the limit for him. I would not be shocked if he becomes a regular on an entertainment show or a regular on a podcast. Or even a, a a movie or a TV show, you know, a, a role or something like that, because there is an interest in him, and to see the millions and millions of people who follow him on TikTok, um, and there really is no niche that he has. It's not like a food review or a, you know a, a dancing TikTok. It's just Josh being Josh. Travel, so, his lifestyle, everything. Yeah. yeah. So there's that interest in him. There's that love for him. So I think as long as he keeps the drinking under control, surrounds himself with good people, sky's the limit for the kid. It seems like he has a pretty good circle around him right now. Try. Between Try. between you, yeah. you know, Tyler, I know you've been a big support yeah. for Josh. Um, Michael Quinn. We try. But, and I know that like it's not like a um it's not gonna be like an immediate thing to cut down because obviously everyone handles their and it's one day at a time and that's what when you go to meetings we, that's yeah, the whole thing that it goes. We'll go get get um, but I think it's like important to know that he's at least yeah. trying to cut it down and it can't happen overnight. Um, but I think that it's just people are too hard on people. And yeah. yeah, I could. Life get sucks. Suck harder. You know, like. Food. Okay. But, Josh. Thank you so much for coming thank coming you, through yeah. today. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Josh. Yeah, Honored to be here. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, guys. Anytime you want to come on, to Josh. Rhode Island to get these we'll get them to you. <laughs> we'll get them. We'll get them. We'll, get <laughs> we'll them. figure them out. You think you could drive me to Rhode Island to get zins? I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. All right, Josh. Right. You think well, that you could? Thank right? you, guys. Yeah, we'll get you the zins. Perfect. You.